Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is another tips and tricks video about that new laptop, desktop, maybe you got something new at Christmas and if it's not Christmas, any time of the year, you have that new PC and you're wondering what are the first steps that you should take. So the first video is already online, it's about making sure that Windows is updated to the latest, greatest version and that you have all security updates. The second thing is manufacturers have that annoying uh, thing that is about installing uh, antivirus trial software. So you actually turn on that PC and you've got Norton, you've got McAfee, you've got whatever installed. And of course, it's always a trial version, anywhere from 30 days to three months, six months, but it is a trial version. Well, you know what? The good news about this is that you don't need third-party antiviruses in Windows 10. There's a protection in Windows 10 that is already there, and it's Windows Defender. And you know what? It or Windows Security. It actually does an okay job. The security is really you. And, you know, the time of having third-party antivirus software or paying for antivirus software is long gone. You don't need that. So what do you do? Uninstall the protection that is a trial version on your PC. So you should see an icon on your um, on your taskbar on the bottom right that says maybe uh, Norton or McAfee or uh, whatever you know uh, you get. So to uninstall it, you, what you could do is go into the Settings app by going into the uh, Notification Center on the bottom right. Or you can actually go to the start menu and go into settings, this little settings pinwheel. If you don't see it there, you can search for it also and go into settings. You'll see the setting apps appear if you search for it. In here, you will go to apps. And you should see in this list uh, the apps that you have installed on your PC. Once you are here, just go down the list and check out what apps you have. Sometimes this list might take a certain time for it to actually be fully loaded. So give it uh, a few seconds to a few minutes. And once you are here and you see what you don't want, what you do is simply click on the app itself and uninstall. So find the antivirus that you might have. Click the uninstall button. And don't be fooled. It's often splitted in a few different apps. Often you'll have, for example, Norton Antivirus or Norton Security, but you'll also have some kind of Norton junk that checks to make sure that Norton is installed. Make sure that you uninstall every little part of this. Another way to uninstall it, you can go into the Control Panel. Go to the Search, type Control Panel. And here you'll see the good old Control Panel like in Windows 7. Here, of course, you also have the uh, programs and features. You can click that. Here you'll see the list of everything that's installed. Simply click on whatever you don't want to have and click the uninstall at the top. Make sure once again that you uninstall everything that is driven by that antivirus. Now you've done that and it probably asks you to restart but there will be a good chance there will be something missing. Most antivirus disable the Windows Security app. So the first thing you'll want to do is actually make sure that you have that little shield with that little green check mark in your taskbar. If you don't see it, go into your search once again and type Windows Security. And here you'll see that little security app show up. Click on it and it's going to tell you what's wrong. Most of the time what's going to it's going to tell you that virus and protection is turned off. Well, make sure that you turn it on. It's going to actually update. It's going to do a few things. And after a couple of minutes, it should be up and working as your main security for Windows 10. So no need for that trial. If you have been lured into buying antivirus key of some sort from the store, you know what? If it's still wrapped and unused, go back and get a refund. Why not? take that money and get yourself something else. You don't need that. And remember, there is no need for third-party antivirus. Remember, you're the security of your PC. 
you are the one that will decide if you are uh, plagued with viruses or not. But just make sure that your Windows is updated like in the first video and make sure that the at least the Windows security app is actually working. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.